A county commissioner killed his son by striking an 8-inch propane pipeline with a bulldozer while grading a road around a pond on his property. The leaking propane ignited and killed the son on the porch of his home, 150 yards away. It took just seven minutes for this avoidable tragedy to unfold. The commissioner had not submitted a one-call ticket despite being warned of this exact danger almost five years earlier in a face-to-face -face meeting on the property with a representative of the pipeline company. Property owners must never grow complacent over pipeline locations, nor should they ever assume they know how deep pipelines on their property are buried. In addition to fatalities, many more needless injuries occur when property owners do not contact their state's one call center before excavating. In this injury-free accident, a homeowner lost his mobile home and forced the evacuation of 125 of his neighbors after striking a 14-inch propane line with a small front-end loader. Pipeline accidents reveal the power of pipelines. In this horrific disaster, one person was killed and four others injured when an auger used to install a utility pole hit a hazardous liquid pipeline. Earth-busting excavation tools can cut through a steel pipeline before workers can save themselves from the deadly consequences. A utility contracting company punctured a 36-inch natural gas pipeline with a one-ton auger, losing one of their workers and injuring eight others. This is the power of an 850-pound natural gas pipeline rupture. The gas, which never ignited, blasted a 10-foot deep crater in earth. An electric company worker and the trencher his crew was using was buried by the power of escaping gas. Blowing natural gas caused only minor injuries to a farm worker who hit a 16-inch natural gas pipeline with a bulldozer. The damage occurred despite the pipeline being clearly marked with multiple temporary pipeline warning signs. In another display of the power of leaking natural gas, an engineer died while testing trenching equipment in a field after he struck a 20-inch transmission gas pipeline. The state's one call system had not been notified, and the pipeline location was unknown to the engineer. The reasons professional excavators still resist using the one call system 811 is certainly a mystery. Despite years of call before you dig awareness campaigns and increased regulatory enforcement, pipeline damages still occur because of failures to notify the one call center. A one call ticket had not been requested by an excavating company installing a water main. A bulldozer used on the project punctured a 12-inch propane line and the heavier-than-air gas drifted across the highway. The propane was ignited by a passing police car. The policeman died in the accident, while the man operating the bulldozer was not injured. Pointing to a pipeline marker, an operator sitting on an idling bulldozer used hand signals to question a fellow operator as to the location of the pipeline. The second operator signaled back that he didn't know. Seeing only a single pipeline marker post, the first operator began to parallel the highway and lowered his ripper bar. The ripper bar struck a 10-inch, 800-pound natural gas pipeline that crossed the highway, 
sparking a mammoth fireball. The dozer operator and two other workers perished as a result of not notifying the state's one call center. These charred remains were left behind by another fatal natural gas pipeline accident in which the state's one call center had not been notified. A bulldozer struck the three foot deep pipeline, killing two workers at a construction materials pit. Excavating alongside or parallel to existing pipelines demands constant communication, inspection, and cooperation. Construction on a new $4.4 billion cross-country natural gas pipeline ground to a halt after an adjacent gas pipeline was struck by a bulldozer, killing its operator. The bulldozer was clearing a path to allow equipment to access the construction site. Accidents involving large diameter, high pressure gas pipelines don't always occur in rural areas. This explosion and the fires it created damaged or destroyed eight homes. In its investigation, the National Transportation Safety Board determined a 20-inch line was gouged and weakened by the back reamer of the boring unit used to install a new parallel 8-inch gas line. The 20-inch line ruptured only after construction of the new line was complete and the 20-inch line's pressure was upped to pre-construction levels. And once again, New pipeline construction resulted in the rupture of an existing pipeline. While there were no injuries, the hot flames reached necessary heights to melt an electric transmission line, resulting in the temporary loss of power for 30,000 customers. Pipelines and the hazardous products they transport are critical to our nation's economy, security, and way of life. The scenes presented in Digging Dangers, The Power of Pipelines, are intended to make an impression. The power of a pipeline unleashed is swift and certain. Excavating in the vicinity of pipeline requires certain unwavering procedures. Always contact your 811 center before beginning any project. Wait the proper time for pipeline locations to be marked. Pipeline operating personnel may need to be present while you excavate. Work with them to ensure your safety as well as the safety of others. Never change the scope of a project until the 811 center and pipeline operating personnel have been notified. Wait the proper time. Never assume anything regarding the location, size, or depth of a pipeline. Rely on the knowledge and skill of pipeline operating personnel. And above all else, never forget the power of pipelines.